If you wish to return your Xbox 360 back to factory default, you're going to first need to locate the serial number that's associated with your console. You'll find the serial number in Settings, then System, then Console Settings. Then from Console Settings we need to go down to System Info, and when we choose this option we're presented with the console serial number and the console ID. You need to note down your console's serial number. Now we need to click the back button to return to console settings, then the back button again to return to system settings, and the back button one more time to return back to the settings options and go to family. In order to return your Xbox back to factory default, you must make sure that the content control is switched off. Once you've turned off content control, you can press the back button to return to settings and then go back to system. From within system, you now need to go to storage. Within the storage pane, you'll find all of the Xbox 360's storage devices. You'll find the hard drive and also the memory unit. We're going to wipe the hard drive first. When you select the hard drive, you're presented with a number of options. The one we need to choose is Format. When we select Format, the Xbox will inform us that this will remove all content from this device. Do we wish to continue? If we choose Yes, we are again warned that everything on the hard drive will be deleted and that we need to enter the serial number for our console. If we select Enter Serial Number, we're presented with an inputting screen where we can enter the serial number which you noted down earlier. When you've entered your serial number, click Done and the hard drive will be formatted. Once the hard drive is formatted, you'll return back to the storage device pane. Now choose Memory Unit and then repeat the process by clicking Format and then Yes. Once the memory unit is formatted, you'll be returned back to the storage device pane. If you have cloud save games, you may also need to wipe that as well. The next settings we need to wipe are the network settings. When we select network settings, we're presented with the available networks that the Xbox can see. You should now click on the Y button on your controller to disconnect any wireless networks that your Xbox may be connected to. Once you've done that, return to System Settings and then choose Initial Setup. When prompted, choose Yes to start the initial setup. Your Xbox will now restart and you'll be presented with the same screen that you saw when you originally set up your Xbox 360 for the first time.